Hey guys, what's going on? It's Fred from DD Tech Talk here with an app review. Now today we are going to be reviewing an app on the iPad 2. Uh, you can, they released this along with the iPad 2, it's GarageBand. You know, a lot of you probably heard about it, uh, really popular on the Macs. So uh, let's dive right into this. So once you start it, it brings up the menu of all your instruments. Uh, not too many different types. I mean, you got your drums. Uh, let's see where they are. You got your drums and your keyboard. Them are the two instruments where they don't need a smart instrument. Uh, we'll get that more into that more uh, later on. So uh, let's open up the keyboard here. Now, really nice interface. Let me turn up the volume here. Make sure you guys are gonna be able to hear it. So. Uh, when you bring it up, it brings up the keyboard, and now it only brings up a little window of the keys. It doesn't bring up the full keyboard, but you do have the option to change it to uh, double layered, so you can have your different octaves uh, up and down. So let's just I don't know if you guys can hear that. So uh, there's that. Um, we can go back. We can shrink the keys to make them smaller to fit more on the screen, or we can make them larger for your fingers. So uh, let's go back to the original view, and we'll shrink them, get them back to medium. Now, uh, there's a lot of keyboards. To change the keyboard, you just tap on this little icon right here, and you got you know your different types of pianos. You got your organs, you know, uh, electric piano. Uh, you also have uh, synthesizers, classic, uh, synth bass, leads, and then your pads, and then your FX. Uh, FX, not really nothing, you know, amazing, I would say. I uh, wish they would add more FX uh, into it, but uh, what can you do? Now, uh, you have your sustain here, so if you tap it. Or if you just put the sustain on, it drags out the note. Now you can also just tap it. Uh, and then you also have your scroll. So uh, you tap this little button, you, hit, you put it to scroll, and that allows you to when you hit it, you can scroll. You can scroll the keyboard and hit another one. Uh, so that's pretty neat. Um, you got your octave changes right here. So let's see here. So that's that. Okay. Uh, you got your record, your playback button. Uh, this is also con volume. So uh, there's some more uh, intimate uh, instruments and stuff like that. So let's go to, uh, you got your drums. Uh, a lot of people are going to have fun with this. Uh, if you watch the I the Apple Keynote, you would know, you know, it depends on where you hit it. So you can hit the rim. A little Phil Collins there. <laughs> uh, we'll go back to the instruments. Now, the really cool ones are the smart instruments. Uh, smart guitar is probably the favorite out of everybody here. So you just play it by hitting note. And these are all notes that go good with each other. So. So you got that. But you can also strum it. So. So you have that, uh, this was also in the keynote, but you also can pick the individual notes. So there's that. And you also got the autoplay function. Uh, a lot of people aren't going to use this if you're, you want to just, you know, try to make your own music because this just plays specific chords and notes uh, for you. So. Another cool part is you switch it from chords to notes, and you got the. You can bend the strings. See? So you... <laughs> so you can play that, it's fun. Uh, so let's go back to the instruments really quick. Oh, 
I forgot to show you. Uh, you can also change it by switching it so you got the uh, classic clean, uh, you know, guitar. And you got your effects pedals right up here. So let's hit notes and you... So uh, let's go back to instruments. Uh, it's also the same with the pianos. So you got your... Yeah, so that's that. And there's your sustain button. Uh, instruments, you got a bass and smart drums, which is like a drum pad. Uh, so it's really good for that. And you got your sampler, you got your audio recording, and you can also plug in your guitar. Now, the one thing I don't like about this is it doesn't have a lot of uh, instruments. Now, there is an app. You could also download for the iPad 1. Uh, it is kind of expensive when you want to get all the instruments in the full version. It's like 30 bucks or something like that. So uh, it is kind of expensive, but there's more, way more instruments. Uh, and, you know, you're not, I don't think you're limited to eight track recording. So uh, it brings up in keyboard. You have a keyboard for every instrument. Now look at all these instruments. These are all the different instruments. So you don't just have pianos, guitars, and basses. You got organs, but you got choirs also. So if you can hit a preview of each note, you got violins. Uh, you know, clarinets, flutes, uh, bagpipes. Annoy people. So you see, you got cool other instruments just like that but you got power guitars and uh, synthesizers I think you got more of them uh, synth uh, space synths pretty cool but you know you got your hip-hop your drum kit and you got steel drums so uh, you know you bring up same thing you got your tracks recording here uh, you know, you have multiple tracks. You got your add f different effects to each uh, track. You volume each track, left or right speaker. I don't know if you probably can't see that. Um, but, uh, it, it, I mean, it works awesome. So, let's load a demo project. I like how they have demos here. So, um, let's see. I know they got demo instruments. It's kind of cool. So, let's go space synth load this instrument and I'll show you what it is in the tracks so there's your track and this is just made off of the, your space synthesizer uh, so uh, let me go ahead and I'll play it for you I mean it's really neat if you listen to it So I mean that's it's it's pretty amazing. So uh, let's go. They got some other things. I mean you got you know hip hop demos and you can add to these demos also. So it's pretty sweet. So uh, let's do hip hop old school. We'll load this. Go to the track and hit play. See, look at all these instruments. So these eight. There's eight here and you can add more. So you're not limited to eight like in GarageBand. So anyway, guys, that's the uh, the app reviews for the iPad 2, uh, GarageBand, along with Music Studio. You can get, there's a light version that you can get for free, or you can pay for the pro version. You can get all the instruments. Uh, and they also have, I believe they have it for the computer also. So uh, I'm running out of time here, so I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe. Update coming at the end of this week for the giveaway of the uh iTunes card and Blockbuster card. I'll be giving that away this weekend. And uh, subscribe and like my videos, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.